All right, you guys, so this quarantine is uh, getting a little out of hand. And I'm here. Somebody's hair is getting a little out of hand. That's right. <laughs> but it's actually about to get more out of hand. The mullet is coming out. Y'all, I'm with Curtis. This is Curtis, and he owns a Michi Local style. Guy. And y'all, so Curtis, he actually has his own YouTube channel, so y'all check him out. But Curtis is the man. Curtis likes to fish too, and uh, so him and I met. And uh, anyways, Curtis is gonna smoke my. We're gonna today. do a shaggy mullet, faux hawk, <laughs> mohawk. It's the new cut. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So anyways, we're gonna get in here. And He's I'm gonna, gonna get that wig smoked. The mullet's coming out. I would like him to grow it longer, but he's sticking with the faux hawk mullet thing. So here we go. She. This is, we, we call this the mullet because he's he's a waterman. He loves to fish, yes. and he probably fishes for mullet sometimes for bait. Maybe I, you know. <laughs> I so like. I don't want to put the two together. Yes. Mullet procure scent, <laughs> so it's just you know. I think you're gonna catch more fish with this haircut. Oh, most definitely, man. The reflection, you know, it's just like it's just gonna be like you know your big specks and your blues are gonna say, look at that mullet. Let's jump out of the water. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice work, Curtis. I like it. Beautiful. Looks good. All right, my man. That's it. All right, y'all. There it is. Look at him. All <laughs> handsome. The faux hawk. You guys, this is Michi's salon, and this is Curtis, and y'all, definitely. Dudes, and if you even have your wife or anything, come up in here. All right, people. So today, a little something different. Uh, you know, I have, I'm not proud to say it have a BMW and I don't really like it. There's a story behind that. I'm not really like a BMW guy. I wanted a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So looking at a Jeep Grand Cherokee and then I sat and there was like a BMW X5 next to it. And I was like, well, this isn't bad. It's almost like the same price pre-owned. Then, you know, after like a few months driving it, I'm like, I am not a BMW person. So today we're trading in the BMW and I'm getting a truck. But the funny thing is, Jeff is getting my exact truck, but six years newer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we, actually just for our lifestyle, because we're always traveling, we're towing the boat, and we just kind of need a do-it-all vehicle, and so trucks, we just love driving trucks. So let's do a quick side-by-side, <laughs> -side, so check it out. So this is the old car. This is a 2017 BMW X5. I got it certified pre-owned, which is that's how I like to buy all my vehicles, certified pre-owned, because you're not gonna pay that sticker price, you know, brand new cars, but certified. So anyways, all the stuff goes wrong with it. So anyways, this is the old car right here. And this is the new whip right here. Boom. New chariot. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, this is Jeff's new whip. So look at that. I don't know. The, what do you guys think? Are you guys more X5 Silverado? No way. Country boy. Got the, I need a truck. I know, I'm jealous. All right, let's get a little exterior view of this bad boy. Some nice rims. All right, people, so check this out. So here it is. So this is the interior. So like Christy was saying, you know, we've got a lot of space back here. Got a full cab. Our little, um, our little grounds are gonna be back there, babe. That's right. <laughs> and then we've got, I just, I like just the layout of this vehicle a lot. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yep. This is a 2018 Chevy Silverado. Very, very spacious. It feels so, like a house in here. Really does. So I really like, just the seats look like the There's like nice bucket seats. These are the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in when I'm driving in a vehicle. Yeah. These seats are the bomb. This is actually like way more comfortable than my X5. Like way, way, way more comfortable sitting in this than the X5. Mm -hmm. And just the seats in the back are like super comfortable. So this is way more cost efficient than like a Yukon or like a just a bigger like enclosed SUV so so there it is there's Christy yeah sitting in the new truck how do I look go ahead and model do your modeling thing no you're supposed to like stand next to Here, the let vehicle me sit on the truck. there you go nope yep okay very nice you ready I'll be your van away all right, so also I like this because we have like a longer truck bed as well. Um, so my fishing poles, a seven foot pole actually fits like, I don't have to like put it diagonal. So like Christy said, we are gonna get a truck bed cover for this. That's the next addition that I want to this. So it already has like the trailer hitch already built in with all of my accessories right there. So, oh yeah, what were you gonna say? It's got a step on it too. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's got a nice step on it. So for sure, people. 
I need to climb another bed. <laughs> yeah, that's right, like us too. So boom, can put the old boots right here. And then this is where I will put the net right here that I will not forget. I won't forget the net. We're gonna have to like glue the net inside of your truck bed. That's so right. It. Yep. So anyways, there it is, Z71. I think that's Are the model. Are you gonna fillet all of our fish back here in your bed now? Heck to the no. We're not doing it on my bed. So anyways, yeah, I like it. It's got the longer, it's got the full cab, that's what I wanted. And it's got a little bit longer bed to it. So that's the new Jeff whip. had a one up me. Yep. Back in the day, you could bring 150 dolphin in if you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That wasn't this day, was it? Uh, no, no. But, uh, but uh, what, what I had is, I did just a collage so people would see the evolution, because right there, that, that's probably, the, the me with the Steeler thing on, that's yeah. probably a, uh, a, a 1973. That's, right that's there. yeah, when I first moved to Virginia. That's probably one of the first ones. And then as it grows, gets older and older. And, um, I love that. And then, yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. And then this is in the mid 80s. Right there. The wall of mail thing, yes. That's in the mid 80s. And, uh, but yeah, you said that's that same picture, right? Yeah, that's the same. That's at Wilcox, yes. That's, where? That's a Curry Tech Sound. And those are bass, not trout? They're bass. That's crazy. Now, now I'll tell you a secret about bass. That's if you cool. catch a bass in brackish water, yeah. they taste a lot better than catching bass in, in fresh, fresh water. Yeah. Because I would assume, like, just so, the salt. The salt, bit. yeah, yeah. So, so we, we would eat them every once in a while out of brackish water. And this is old Oregon Inlet, right? Right, right. That is awesome. I love these old pictures like that. Yeah. Spanish. That's uh, sp uh, mackerel. Yeah, mackerel. Yep. yep. Uh, Big bass. What is? What are these? They're s salmon. That's oh, the salmon the Pulaski? River Pulaski River. That's crazy. Dang. That picture is so awesome. I love that. Big. So that's the elephant. That's that. That's the elephant. That's when I was into that's the meat. Awesome. I graduated in nothing but meat. And everybody used to serve s s striped bass on their menu. Everybody. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the 70s. Everybody used to have striped bass on their menu. Crazy. Uh -huh. And like I say, the flounder situation, it went from all day long catching little doormats yeah. to okay. all right. All what, what is it now? The 15 or 20, 16 and in, inches? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You threw them back anyways, because you were catching doormats all day long. Everything was over like 1920. That's crazy. Dang. And nobody Cobia fished back then, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. And that's a lot of that. They were Cobia fishermen, but not the way they are now. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. you got to sign your part. All right. All right. got to do the honors and christen Jeff's car before he gets in. I've got his lucky bolo tie here with the bald eagle, very American on it. And I'm going to put it right here on his mirror. Babe, I'm christening your vehicle. Okay. Now Boom. it's official. It's official. There we go. Every vehicle Jeff has ever owned has had that bullet tag. How does it feel? You are the new owner of a Chevy Silverado. Does it feel good? It feels great. I'm ready to tow a big old boat. All right, y'all. So there it is. It's official. Got my new truck right here. Got everything situated. Signed all the paperwork. And this right here is gonna be our new fishing machine. I do wanna take a second. Um, this video, by the way, is in no way like endorsed, but it is really important in this crazy, unique time that we're in, and especially for businesses, small size, mid size, all businesses need help. So anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out to the dealership that I was buying this vehicle from, Subtle Motors in Newport News on the peninsula in Virginia. So if you guys are looking for uh, they deal with GMC, Cadillac, but they deal with tons of trucks. This is a Chevrolet. I bought it certified, pre-owned, and just, I don't know, amazing customer service. And I don't know, I'm gonna, they were like, we'll take care of all your oil changes for the next three years. You guys, nothing a part of this video is like paid for or affiliated. I just wanted to take an opportunity to give a shout out and just to 
help out other small businesses out there because Lowell knows we all need it. All right, so here it is. Finally sitting inside the new Chevrolet as the owner. This is my new office over here, y'all. Got my space right here. I feel like I'm in a boat or a house. I've got so much leg room. That's right. It's great. So this is pretty much, <laughs> Kirstie and I, a day in the life of what we do when we're not fishing. Mm -hmm. And when we're working is, Kirstie's over here doing emails. Yep. Doing her thing. Doing homework. That's right. And then I'm over here hitting the pavement, asphalt cowboy. Just kind of hitting the pavement and going around making some stuff happen. So this is pretty much what Christy and I normally do when we're not fishing mm -hmm. is we just roll together. How do you like your new office? I love it. That's great. I can recline my seat. I have AC on my seat. I've got heat on my seat and I can charge my phone right here. Double Dang, charge. That's pretty cool. Yep. Time for some Chick-fil-A though because your business partner is hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, people, time to get Christy some food. Because if Christy don't get some food, hey, then hey, sometimes hey. things get a little <laughs> ugly. All right, hey. next stop. All right, so the last few clips that I want to show y'all to end this vlog is I get the question all the time, like, how much footage do y'all actually use that you film? Or do y'all ever go out? Do you ever get skunked? And do you ever, like, you know, travel and... Is it not productive? Um, so, here's a few clips of some videos that we were planning on making, but the conditions did not allow it because the weatherman was wrong. So, these are just some funny clips, some funny vlogs and shenanigans of some times that it just doesn't work because yes, that does happen. Not all the time, but it does happen sometimes. What is happening, you guys? So it's a little different of a uh, fishing adventure today. Babe, tell everybody what we have going on. Well, right now we are heading down to a, uh, supposed to be a pretty remote beach, but it's not today because we have the quarantine going on. So everybody is at the beach, hanging out, exercising, fishing, because that's all we can do in our state. So Christy and I, we decided to get on, hopefully some speckled trout. Um, that's right. As you guys can see, we are currently on our tandem and wearing our waders. We've got like a three mile bike ride, I think. How many? Three? Uh, like eight. We're heading down to the Outer Banks, people. We're in Virginia. <laughs> Jeff said three. Since the Outer Banks is closed right now. No, can you guys see the next one? It's like in my hand right now. The only thing we can do is park as close as we can to the North Carolina, Virginia border. And bike ride. So basically, we're biking down to the Outer Banks over the state line. Ooh, my legs are already getting tired, and we're just starting out. But y'all, it is absolutely insane out today. Blue skies, next to nothing winds. The winds are actually supposed to lay down to like zero mile an hour this afternoon. And we got our gotcha plugs, we got our soft plastic. So today, name of the game hopefully is to get on some big old speckled trout. Are you pedaling back there? Some bluefish. Yes, I'm pedaling. Uh -huh. I'm linking to you guys. Um, anyway, we're gonna get on some big old trout, some blue fish. What else, babe? That's about it. Red. Speckled trout. Feeling good. Ready to catch some fish? I'm feeling like I have a new business opportunity. It's called the fishing rickshaw. Where you just, <laughs> you know, take people on bikes. Yeah. And you can be their fishing guide. You pedal for them. You do everything. Y'all check out. Check out our rig. Would you call it a rig? Yeah. Check tandem out our rig. our tandem rig. <laughs> Alright y'all. I can hear the ocean and I see the dunes, so I think we are super, super close. offshore pristine winds right now so we're gonna get some long big old cast and uh, y'all 
We've got on some soft plastics, brought down some plugs. Hopefully we can get on some bluefish, some striper, some redfish, whatever is biting. So here we go, y'all. Oh, this is kind of murky. Muddy, muddy. It is kind of muddy, muddy. What is happening, you guys? Jeff and I are out here on a Sunday fun day, y'all. And we are, you guys, we have been stuck inside for quarantine. We're going to be putting out some positive vibes and waving to everybody. What you want to catch today, babe? Anything. Anything? Anything and everything. So if you were to catch like a bunch of bluefish, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> Me either. Maybe we can get on some big old chop blues. Uh, no, nah, we didn't. We just checked it out. There's a lot of activity going on back there. Oh, I know. We've been here all day. Really? Yeah. Have y'all been? Videos on the judging. Oh, yeah. They don't sell them on Sundays down here anywhere, apparently. What? Yeah, we, uh, we left at 1.30 in the morning in Charlestown, West Virginia. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. From Charlestown? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, nice land shark shirt. Y'all came from all the way from Charlestown. Yep. Dang. Well, nice to meet y'all. Yeah, thanks. You too, man. Hope y'all catch them. <laughs> I know, right? All right, Jeff. This is how you gonna do it. All right. You see that water? Hey, she's probably like, who's on that boat? But then we will be two big people. Okay. Get right up there. There's a drop off. You're gonna get your lure right into the honey hole. There's no honey in it, it's just a hole. We call it the honey hole. Just go with it, okay? Throw your lure in there, like this. Ready? Flip that bam. Bombs away, baby, like that. <laughs> just like that. Get it out there, let's sink. Tighten that line and wait for him to rip his lip. Sorry. Big old yellow mouth, two fine teeth. He gonna be hungry. He gonna be waiting. Yep, so there you go. Four different spots, a whole day from sun up to sundown. We eventually got on fish, but yes, we do go to places and the weatherman's wrong, the conditions are off or whatever and it's just not happening. And also, the only thing you can do is just try and have fun with it. And we get a little weird and kind of the wheels just fall off towards the end of the day. And that's all you can do is just try and have fun. So anyways, there y'all have it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, so that's all I got for today. And hopefully you guys are starting to get on these fish now that things are starting to get moving again. Fish are moving, it's warmer and everything. So hope you guys are doing well and starting to catch a lot of fishies. All right, people, peace out.